really good game in the second and third period in particular in the semifinal Kessel ring the way that he played the stick work was excellent wise fired it in tried to get back up after it loose buck in the slot now and Boston University gets control here's Crotty Rister gets through everybody wise was camped out at the doorstep back to the point wise gets a piece of it he scores the sophomore Jake wise out of running gets his second goal the season and it's one nothing Boston University so the BU Terriers do an excellent job here of getting the puck tracking it down and then bringing it from low to high the shot is at a good distance but also a good height see how you got the puck protection low to high here's Crotty. he's gonna put it down low now it's gonna come back and again chip back to the point that's a defenseman there in Ference who pushes the puck back to the left point watch number four come in now you get slide over Kersica shoots there's the puck there's the rebound and wise puts it in Phillips drops it back here's Stu last week's hero Back for Harper. Harper taking it down low up top now for McCarthy. McCarthy sliding it across. Seekers fires. He scores. Power play goal. A wrister from the point. And just like that, it's 2 0 Terriers. We talk about Zegers and his ability to move the puck beautifully. I mean, you want to talk about mesmerizing passes. But this one is just a wrist shot, snapshot that beats the goaltender Pantano. I think he screened on this one by his own defender. Coming out just a bit, uh, you could tell that coming across was Kislin. Does he screen him enough though? And then it beats him upstairs. Jeff Durfee and Giuseppe Testa, Tommy George and Jeff McCorkle are the linesmen tonight. That was Testa caught up in the middle of everything down there, but it's a hockey guy, skates it off. I officiated for it's a brutal feeling two on one suddenly wise going in the shot on the left side save made and held on to by Pantano as the way that BU is keeping Northeastern to the outside in all areas of the ice it's been really impressive there Demelis who, who's really picked up his game as he's gotten more confident as a freshman BU swarming after the puck right now Mastro Simone in the far corner knocked down but he gets back up with the puck Skates out of the corner now, brings it around to the near side. Looking to turn it towards the net, instead back to the point. Crotty there, kicked away by Pantano. Skoog on the rebound, couldn't get it back towards the net. For Simone, he win his battle from the knees, right? And then extended zone time, good for BU. And then Josephek brings the puck down, and what does he do, TC? It's a short pass that they're trying to chip and be fancy. No zone time right there. This one played in front, rebound at the doorstep, held on to by Abel as Matt Thompson. The sophomore who played at Kimball Union. This is gonna punch the puck through. I love that little quick snapshot. And trying to track it was able the whole time. There was a screen in front of the net. I, I believe that was Neil Shea. Yeah, it was. Riley Hughes who ends up getting it as the puck is first shot, shot with purpose right there. Now on the four check, look, closing it again is Solo. There's Hughes gonna get it, quickly wristing towards the net. And again, weak side pressure. Hoping, just hoping that Biagio at Little Fenway and the Little Field of Dreams, Little Wrigley up in Essex, Vermont. An amazing tournament. As this one comes out in front, Madden scores. You felt it coming, and Tyler Madden gets the Huskies on the board and back into the bean pot. 2 1 BU leading here in the second. Set play off the faceoff, and Tyler Madden, who does not ever shy away from the spotlight, we talked about it a minute ago, needs to get more involved. Faceoff win back to the point. Reset, recycle. Low, middle, shoot. What a play. Now Madden doesn't over pursue the puck. When it comes back to the point, McDonough's going to go low. This is a set play. Everybody turns to face McDonough as soon as they do. But it's kept in here by Kislin. McDonough getting it back up to the point. Shea brings it around wide. Now works it in behind the net. Defenseman Shea centers it. Joseph X shoots. He scores. McDonough rather on the shot and the score. And the Huskies have tied this game up in two. The freshman Aiden McDonough gets his 10th goal of the year.
We talked about it before the period began. They had to get in and possess the puck. This is a perfect example of that. Joseph Eck wide. Quick shot. Just missed the net. But now they get on the cycle. This is a great fly by McDonough. Up high. And now here comes Shea. Even though he burps it up, he says, I'm going to get it back. Holds it. Waits. Waits. Instead of panicking and throwing to the net, he waits for the middle of the ice to open. McDonough goes stealth. He goes above the red sweaters. Opens up. The fact is he's there in a shooting position. Hands are in front. McDonough gets there. Shea looking for McDonough. McDonough plays it down low. Shea. For McDonough, a little touch pass. Solo fires it. He scores! Power play goal. And the Huskies have come roaring back here in the garden. So many good things happen on this power play. The face-off win, the composure to bring the puck up to the point, and then the set up at the point. Touch passes, moving around, and then the quick finish. Zach Solo, who's a really good 200-foot player for the Huskies. Shea's going to get it down to McDonough. Then here's your rotation. Move it up top. Watch. Quick touch pass. Back to the middle of the ice. That doesn't allow McCarty to get, to get himself reset, trying to come up there. He was literally solo on the right, on the left side, the blocker side, and then his shot, I think, goes off the pad just a tick, just a hair, and then it goes off the post. Clearly never crosses the line, post to post. Oh, oh, my. Wow. Just couldn't finish it. Kessel rings pass. Almost picked off there by Stevens. Huskies still have it. Ten seconds to go in the power play. Kislin plays it to his left. Shot. Fourth goal now in his last six. Jim Madigan, Jerry Keefe were telling me about how hot this kid's getting. And you can see he sizzles it upstairs. Second unit out on the ice at the end of this power play. Look at the amount of ice that he can take. And again, smokes it upstairs. Nice screen in front from Van Reems. I, makes, I, I think he may have gotten a piece of this after Fensori is going to bring the puck to the front. Curry's going to push it off the post and then off the pad. Now just off the outside, actually, of the, the paddle, the, the, the thin part of the, of the stick right there. But now we've seen the last two shifts, Tom, in the Ozone. Both times, BU doing what they do best. You scoop, scoop, looking in front. Gets it to Ferrets. Back for Scoog. Scoog in traffic. Second effort as he gets it back. Mastro Simone on the follow. And a good save there for Pantano. Back to Zegers again. Left side as he goes in. Looks to set up the power play. And a post from the shot from Curry. And unable to handle that pass was Harper back out shorthanded. Comes Solo. Solo working wide. The save made there by Tucker. Tucker now trying to get a piece of that. He has to stop Madden. Who Watching tonight. Another defenseman? Another defenseman. Maybe he'll check out this out. Master Simone says, oh, not in my area when it's coming around. It, it, I, this one was, I think, was going to go in. Yeah, it sure was. That. Madden is going to actually have this second chance hit him. Watch right here. It's going to hit his leg or his midsection. And then watch Madden oh, afterwards, after Tucker makes the save, maybe the overhead if we keep rolling, and watch Madden, he's going to extend, and he's going to end up tripping Masterson, right? Harper plays it down low and takes it back from Cockrell. Ferentz looking, waiting, shooting, score! Power play goal! And the BU Terriers have gotten one back. One goal game here in the third. Or oh, we set up for an absolutely bonkers finish as this shot finds its way through some bodies in front. Ferentz does a nice hesitation. That extra little hiccup right there. And then look at that puck skip through the legs of Kislin. I mean, literally, watch this coming up. Little hesitation right there. Sets up the traffic in front. Skip. Oh, because it goes off the stick of Van Riemsdyk. And then it skips by the netminder, Pantano. Defense with the big defenseman, the six foot four, 200. 
five pound defenseman Kesselring who is not afraid to initiate like we're seeing here. He attracts three sw red sweater terriers looking at him. Demelis is going to try and come in. Look at how there's actually two guys go towards one puck carrier. Karate goes behind the net too. Who is trying to get back to the middle of the ice. There's 28 solo trying to perform either a screen or an outlet. But here he screens. Now the puck is in front. Karate's going to box him out. Vlasic boxes out Madden as well. And then the puck just can't get free. Where's Tucker? Where's the puck? There it is. It's underneath him. I think he feels it under there. The Women's Beanpaw Championship. Here's a look at yeah, Karate check out, helping out. Check out Karate. He gets his stick on it, and then it caroms fortuitously into the pad of Tucker as he tries to get over there. Tucker then feels it at the last second. Net was pretty open, but Karate's first little desperate play right here perhaps saves a goal. Otherwise, that net would have been gaping open. Looks. Takes it down in the corner, drops it back for Ryan Shea to go to the backhand to get the puck there and does. Has control of it, plays it wide in front, solo kick save, Tucker rebound to Madden, he comes up to the doorstep, hit off the top of the crossbar, now sits at the edge of the crease, and Tucker makes the save. Left side, if they're from the BU zone, and there's a little pass into space. Now you get speed coming through the neutral zone. Numbers, four on three. Wide seam pass over to Scoob, who opens himself up. When he opens himself up, watch Pantano. He's already shuffling over. Big body comes over, catches it right on the Husky logo. From Zegers. Pulls up along the wall, gets the backhand pass away for Fensori. Big one time from McCarthy, blocked by Joseph. That's a senior for you right there. Still in the zone for BU as they look and pressure for the equalizer. Zegris fires that one on that and Pantano had to be ready for it. Pass around. Corsia into a crowd. Puck loose at the edge. Corporal, Corporal looking for it. It's blocked. Ferrets keeps it in. 20 seconds to go. Wise on one time. Pantano got a piece of it. Madden got a piece of it coming through as well. Huskies control with 15 seconds to go. It's kept in by Ferrets. Here's Harper coming in deep. Centering pass. Tries to put it back towards the net. Final seconds winding down. Why sends it from score? Less than a second remaining. Zegris with less than a second to go has tied the 68th Beat Punch Championship at four. Oh my! That's the hands guy. That's he want the puck in that situation and it finds him what a finish oh my amazing keep at the line by BU to keep the puck alive Northeastern doesn't get it out it leads to the craziness around the net the pack hand little nub into the net with 1.2 seconds remaining they actually waited a second now. They look at the time, and now the BU Terriers are celebrating. A frenetic finish. finish. Oh, my gosh. Near the end of this overtime period, quick transition up the ice. Matt Cermoni, Cermoni gets it from Harper, but there's the good back check by Zach Solo, the guy who we talked about earlier in this game who plays a really effective 200-foot game. Makes a minute to go in the power play. They send it in. Solo giving chase. Hard clear is blocked on the far wall. Loose puck. Curry looking for it. Can't get to it. Northeastern controls. Up top it is Harris again. His wrister scores! In double overtime, Northeastern makes history with three consecutive Beanpaw championships for the first time. Right, here's the goal. Harris is just trying to shoot it for a tip. I don't think it gets tipped in front. It just goes underneath. It just watch a little skip and then under the right pad or through the legs of Tucker. Maybe just enough of a screen there. Pretty good shot by the Montreal Canadian draft pick, Harris. There, right here. Now, the settling of the puck right there, that just allows the power play to get established. Then you go low to high. Now, all of a sudden, Northeastern, that couldn't get anything established in the first minute of the power play, finally settles it. <laughs>